All right, so this is the first goal against me. And uh, you can see me getting ready to take the shot from the first guy running towards the goal with the ball. And uh, when he simply does a short sideway pass, I have to adjust my movement to the left. And uh, when I do that, I drop my hands to my waist or my, like my legs. And because of that, it uh, prevents me from getting ready to to act on that quick release from him and yeah, it's a nice placed goal but if I had my hands up I think I could have gotten a better chance at stopping the ball the second goal against me uh, is a dump in and uh, one of the players picks up the ball behind the goal and uh, wraps around and passes to an open guy in the high slot and uh, I think this is a pretty much a defensive mistake you can see three of our players in a line looking at the ball just uh, missing to cover the guy in the high slot and uh, he doesn't do a really hard shot but it's a w well placed in the top left corner and I had a hard time moving around on this floor. I got stuck a lot. It wasn't that glidy and I'm not able to move fast enough to the side and uh, going out towards the, sh the shooter. So yeah, this is not a goal that I will care that much about because it's a defensive error ma mainly and if I would have made that save it, it would just have been a like big plus all right so the next goal is a bit of a mix between a defensive error and me not handling the situ situations good enough um, you see four of, four of our people go down towards the corner and all of them are looking at the ball. So when the guy in the corner gets a free passage up to the defender and the defender does a quick pass towards the guy in the high slot and then you get the, the last pass to the guy coming in from the side. And uh, I believe that this guy, the guy is going to shoot right away so I act on that. But he fakes me and goes further into the goal area and simply just wraps the ball around me and uh, since I have like went all in on the side movement I'm not quick enough to get down on the floor and I can't act on him aggressively because usually I use a scissor kick at moments like this but because I went all in on like the first oppor opportunity to shoot then that hinders me from getting my legs out for a scissor kick and it makes it harder for me to go down to the floor quick enough to cover that area. But in the end I think this is a defensive error and uh, like I said it's also a situation where I could have handled it a lot better by acting differently. Alright, so the next goal is like 80% a defensive error and like 20% a misplay for me. Which is kind of sad because in the beginning of the clip we have a pretty good movement by the defenders in my team. But in the end a defensive player from the positive gets a free passage on the left side and a quick pass which gives him a pretty good shooting opportunity and yeah it's a nice shot but I could have stopped it by playing more to the left side at the beginning because I had my defenders on the right side and I could just have just ignored that side and uh, this would never have happened alright so the next goal isn't that much to talk about it's a Nice power play goal by the opposite team and yet again it's a 
bit of a defensive error because everyone is staring at the ball and nobody's noticing the guy uh, creeping up in the middle towards the right so our top left uh, box play player didn't really act on it and it gave that guy a really good shooting opportunity and he does a really nice uh, top left corner shot so yeah that's a nice goal nothing nothing to talk about really one thing to take away from this goal is all these short passes that happens really quick is a big problem for uh, goalkeepers because you have to reposition yourself quickly before the shot happens uh, so you can cover like all the new angles that the ball gets from the original position and uh, it's really hard when uh, it's that close towards the goal all right so the last goal that i recorded was a counter attack in a two versus one situation it almost became a two versus two with my back checking defender but here's a kind of misplay from the defender and myself uh, the defender that was already home could have pressured the the guy with the ball a bit more and the back checking defender would have covered up if that guy decided to pass what happened now was I had to cover him coming against me in, in high speed and I had to cover a shooting opportunity and a dribbling one and uh, he had a lot of opportunities to go either left or right and uh, that made me a bit unsure on what to do and how to act and like in the final move he does is a a little of a fake shot with a side movements and then just a backhand and it was a nice goal I think I could have played a bit more to the left and forced him towards the middle and maybe that would have given my defender a bit of a better cue to like pressure him one thing to take away from this is if you decide to act a bit more on the shooting opportunity if the player decides to go further towards you and dribble you you have to actually move back a bit into the goal uh, crease uh, you can see me here being a bit too far out and that gives him that real good opportunity to do a, a fast uh, side movement and a quick backhand